first, tonight, we play a word game on a play on words. Confusing? Great. It's Monday Pun Day on HQ Words. I am your host, a letter lover, a word queen, Anna Roisman. You can find me here all over social media. I may make a joke about sodium, but nah. Ooh, do you like to read books? I hope one hasn't fallen onto you because you'd really only have your shelf to blame. It's true. Thank you, thank you so much. But the pun winners will share a piece of tonight's prize, which is $1,000. Ooh, you'll be rolling in that punny soon enough. But first, hey, spin the wheel around my face for your letter. Ooh, welcome to the Wheel Housewives of HQ. I'm really excited to be here. If you're curious what it's like living in a wheel, they said, let her stay there for free. <laughs> I'm gonna love this game. Free like your letter. Hey, whatever letter it landed on, it's yours. Okay, are you ready to have your 15 minutes of game? The faster you solve, the more money you can win. So now that I've spelled it all out for you, let's play this thing. Your first hint is sad dairy item. Cheer up. Type in S, E, and B. This is something I do not like. I have expressed it on the show. It's also a color that represents the feeling of sad. And if you choose this over ranch, come on. Looks like Scott needed this in that last game there, huh? I'm talking about blue cheese. Sad dairy item, blue cheese. 187,664 solved the puzzle. 15,410 are out on the first pun of the night. But we gotta have more pun, okay? Have you ever been on vacation? That's pretty cool. But have you ever been on a vacation and there are animals working the hotel? Tell me this frog's hotel job. Think about all of the employees at a hotel. This one specifically handles your luggage. Also, it's a frog, which you know has to get around in a very specific way. Come on, this is these are creative puzzles tonight. We're doing puns, baby. And the frog's hotel job? He's a bellhop, obviously. He gotta hop around, 165,000 got it, 23,000, not in the game anymore, on bellhop. <laughs> Wouldn't it be cute to see a frog hop around with your luggage? Could you imagine though if a gossipy frog worked room service? Okay, they'd spill the tea. Thank you, thank you so much. Speaking of room service, are there salads? Your hint is going vegetarian to some. Some people might be fine and never think about this again. Others will feel the loss of this protein in their lives. I'm talking about meat, people. But what kind? What kind of meat? Going vegetarian to some. Are you sad about a missed steak? Oh, a mistake. 67,276. You didn't miss anything. What, what is this? 100,073, you just got schooled on a mistake. You had a mistake tonight. Pretend that's schooled. You got schooled out of, uh, out of culinary school tonight on that one. Ooh, I would mistake if I didn't have vegetables, but I'd never mistake it for vegetables. Wow, okay, have I lost my mind? Maybe. Are you feeling okay in case anyone needs to go. I hear there's a bowling alley health clinic. When you bowl, you knock these down. But also, uh, uh, has your foot fallen asleep? <laughs> It'd be tough to bowl if you can't feel your foot. This clinic has it all. Bowling alley health clinic pun. The answer is pins and needles. You got pins and needles in your feet. You got pins there to knock down. 71,054, got it right. 4,501, eliminated on pins and needles. Pins and needles, I hate that feeling. I hope you didn't strike out on that one. Okay, bowling stuff. Are you enjoying this as much as me and your dad? I'll keep trying, okay? Tell me, do you like egg jokes? 
Oh, I'm excited about this one. <laughs> Think about what you do with eggs. Here's a good hint. I like my eggs like I like my word puzzles. Medium. Right, not too easy. Medium. Was that a good one? Do you like egg jokes? They crack me up. Ooh, they crack me up. That's a good one. Come on, 37,642 got it right. 33,700 eliminated on they crack me up. We're like neck and neck right now. How many people love puns? Are you having pun? Come on, no one here cracked yet. You're still in the punning to win this game. Hey, word nerds, you made it halfway through the game. Okay, take off your shoes, jump up in the air, cause you've defeated five puzzles. Ooh, your next hint is pretty chill. Type in this shaggy clay artist. This artist works with clay, never shaves, and somehow reminds me of someone with magical powers, like a wizard. You know any wizards? But we're talking about an artist, a shaggy clay artist, very specific job. The answer is Harry Potter. <laughs> A Harry Potter, 36,900, got it, 4,600, eliminated on Harry, but not Harry Potter, a Harry Potter, right? Someone who does pottery and got a lot of hair. Ooh, that Harry Potter is so talented. They're working with this person down the street. Your hint is gardening dentist. They work with a lot of things in the mouth and in the garden. I don't mean teeth but other parts of the mouth. In fact, this answer reminds me of a rock band, right? Plus, part of my middle name. My middle name is in there. Gardening, dentist, the answer is gums and roses. Okay, Gums and Roses. That was the original band name and they were like, mm, I don't know. 26,852 got it right. 10,734 aren't seeing that gardening dentist today. <laughs> Woo, you can be religious or not to get this next one, but one thing you might wanna be familiar with is athletics. Your hint is Bible Belt Winter Sport. That's a mouthful, Bible Belt Winter Sport, but this is a popular winter sport that you may see in the Olympics. You definitely see it in the Olympics. It's less religious, though you're gonna know the symbol. What's this Bible Belt winter sport? And it's pretty cold when they do this. It's cross country skiing. Get it? The cross, cross country skiing? Oh, come on, your dad is cracking up over there. 24,763, got it right. 3,799, just skied out of the game. They're gone, we'll see you soon. Did you get it right or have you gotten snow wear? Woohoo! Hey, you know who loves snow? These guys, type in this penguin's favorite relative. They got relatives. It's not a parent, it's not a sibling, it's another relative and it lives in a very, very cold place, I think. And if your mom or dad has a sister, you definitely know this relative. But I'm talking about a penguin's favorite relative and the answer is Antarctica. She's the best. Antarctica shows up with gifts and love and 23,000 people, 626, you know Antarctica. She's, she sent you a birthday card, right? And 1,862 are out on Antarctica. She's also, Antarctica, she's, I hear her right now. She's so proud of you because you just made it to the final puzzle. You punneled through nine puzzles and now we are at the finale. We started tonight with over 200,000 players and lost a few pun tenders along the way. Your final hint has a lot to say. Where is the nosy pepper? This pepper wants to know everything. Okay, they won't leave you alone. For the win, are you gonna give the pepper what they want? Come on, it's a spicy night here on HQ. 
Where is that nosy pepper? He's jalapeno business. Jalap jalapeno business. You know what? I'm jalapeno wallet because 19,661 people just won HQ word puns. You did it. Okay. Ooh, let's see who our fastest pun tenders are tonight. Here we go. In first place, in second place, in first place. Heartbreak Hank, you just won $100. In second place, Brave Hornet won $75. And then in third place, Via Bleewee, Via Blue, you just won $50 on the pun game. That's amazing. This was great, right? That is the game for tonight. Congrats to all of the other winners and our new friends who got wordy tonight. This was a pun one to drop in on. Oh, I wish we had more time together, but I prefer Rosemary. Oh wow, I can't be stopped, I literally can't. Hey, send a word up to the family specifically, Harry Potter and Antarctica, say hi. I'm Anna Roisman, your new best source of dad jokes. So follow me here on social media. I will see you tomorrow night and every night after HQ Trivia for a new game of HQ Words. I'm hungry right now, but I'm on a seafood diet, so show me pics of your dinner because I want a seafood. Okay, kids, that's all I got. Bye.